Three, two, one, uh, go. Hello YouTube, Commando bringing you another episode of the SD Gundam G Generation F. Previously we just defeated Solomon, Solomon. And I'm not sure uh, where I am in accordance to the uh, anime here, or in the in this series rather I should say. Here's Char discussing some plans that I have no idea about. So after the defeat of Solomon, Solomon. Ah, Makube. Makube. Makube, Makube, Makube. Makube is a weird guy. I, I never thought I, I never really liked him, but um Ooh, is that I forget what that mobile suit's called. Is this like is it the Yeah, uh, we'll see. Alright, so enter the full blown new type jibber jabber that comes along with in Gundam Universal Colony. I call it jibber jabber because they all of a sudden they go into the psychedelic phase. Ah, la la. And la 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 is um. She is like the first new type that Zeon really like tries to use. Hmm, is that true? <laughs> what I just said? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure that is. So, I think this is an abandoned space colony. Um, that still like functions, and there's some people that live here, but it's been abandoned after uh, its strategical value was deemed like bad, not good. So it's been abandoned, and now there's a battle. And Makube has lured Amuro into the colony in his new mobile suit specifically designed for him. Whatever that entails. Probably just means conniving douchebags, uh, <laughs> douchebaggery to the, to, to the core. What's going on here? So, technically... Why am I hurt? Hmm. I don't know where Gun Tank went. What? Where is Gun Tank? Gun Tank! Alright Kai, don't fuck it up. Only one hit. You fucked it up. You done fucked up! Ah! Char! In his new... ...ish mobile suit. Uh, as you guys probably recall, Char doesn't like... Um... Makuve. Or the zombie family. Or Zeon, necessarily. Um... So in that sense... He's not necessarily for Makuve, but he's not gonna gonna like try and kill him himself, so to speak. <laughs> Essentially, oh Kai, dodge it, please, dodge it, you son of a bitch, Kai! Dodge it. Good lord. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, can Kai do this? Please, Kai, don't fuck it up. Yeah! Alright, that's one down. Good god. Nope, can't do anything there. Can we do... One of these on one of those. Two, three, four. That's way more than enough to kill you off. God, I swear, gun cannon sucks. Our Ian situation sucks. Gotta run away. I will fire at you. Three, four, five, six, five, five. Cool. I'll take it. Makuve, knock it off. Um, don't know exactly what he said, but he, Makuve has a disliking towards Shar. He wants to show Shar that Makuve is actually good enough to destroy Gundam and uh, the white base. So yeah, he's just basically trying to prove his worth to Lady Cassilia or whatever her name is. Cassilia? Cassi... Yeah, I think it's Cassilia. going on here? Hopefully it's not another game over for me. Ah! Wa... Wakain. Wakain? I don't remember his name very well, so... <laughs> Forgive me for butchering it. Let's do a five-step attack with the mace in your face. What's this mobile suit called again? Gion. Gion. Gion? Probably? If I had a guess. Oh good, just a ship. <laughs> Alright, Sayla. Do your thing. Hey, gun cannon! You're back to being gun cannon! Yay! You piece of shit. So in case you haven't noticed, uh, Sela is a new type as well. I'm pretty sure everyone has noticed, actually. This ship sucks. <laughs> oh, good enough, right? You're gonna attack the Amuro? I'll show you guys this one. Okay, so... Uh, it shows 
that Makube, although he wanted to... He always seemed to be plotting behind Lady Cassilia. He seemed to also have a sense of admiration for her and wanted to impress her, I think. But it's hard to say when I don't remember the anime very well. Where are you going? Just because I kicked your ass doesn't mean you're supposed to run away. Sailor will go over here and fuck him up. Get wrecked! And Sela will go over here and shoot some more. Ooh, this way, actually. At you! That's not enough, is it? Ugh. And... Sure, you're fully repaired, why not? I'm th taking them to the asteroid field because that increases their dodging chance. Hey, where are you going? I swear, gun cannon should be stronger than that, but oh well. Ow! Well, what do you expect when you're attacking the white base, right? Right? Is that Gundam pilot an act? Uh, is is he a new type? Something along those lines. That's got to be Shar. Says Gundam or Amuro rather. My Japanese isn't all lost, but it's also not very good. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Alright, Kai's feeling good, but also out of Yen. Hmm. Guess I have no choice in the matter. You gotta gamble and win! So this is when Char realizes, is he not good enough to handle the Gundam pilot, which is a new type pilot. And like I said, this is where it really starts to like show you the the ways of the new type, so to speak. Oh, that's right. I remember why um, Hi um, Gun Tank isn't here. Hayato is out of commission right now. He got effed up in the previous battle. Or two. I don't know how far ago it was, but he got effed up pretty bad. So he's injured and in in medical leave at the moment. And that's uh yeah. So what happened essentially? Mokube destroyed. Shar runs away. Shar was here to sh I guess this base was um this abandoned colony thing was uh housing some new mobile suits and that was the mobile suit shower with pyrolighting but I don't know some stuff like that and the other general or commandant was killed in action I believe his whole ship I mean and Shar gets away. Oh, they're looking for Amuro right now, cause uh, he was inside while they were outside. Amuro was inside. They're looking for him. Amuro's uh, it was an intense fight and got effed up. They both got effed up. They both get away, or rather, Shar gets away, and Amuro needs to fix his mobile suit. Doesn't. But it's, you know, whatever.
Meanwhile, Seda, while on the search, is on the comm with Bright and encounters Char. And this is where it become, becomes uh, evident to Bright that um, Seda is actually, in fact, Not who she says she is completely. And basically what Char wants is for Seira to get out of this. Uh, get away from this war. Get away. Go to Earth and live a peaceful, happy life. Don't get involved in this war any longer. That, I, yeah. So that general right there is going to get killed. <laughs> the Zanzibar tries to make its escape, which is uh, Char's mobile suit. And... Um, they try to stop it and slow it down while White Base uh, collects its crew from inside the colony and then gets uh, and backs them up. But then when they get out, the ship is pretty much demolished. And everyone's sad. Many people died. And that's war. And Char develop delivers to Seda somehow. I forget how. A go a suitcase full of gold that should be able to get her uh, that should be enough money for her to get started on Earth and maintain her. Everyone's like, "What the fuck is this piece of shit? Like, why is there a suitcase floating in?" And then it's been it was a note for Seda. What is this? I don't, I don't even remember. What, what is this? So the technology or the discovery of new types is just going all over the place now. So I think the the white haired guy you saw above is is a new type as well. God, I remember the sound. This is Lala doing shit and effing these guys up. So this is the base Solomon, the one we destroyed. Um, Earth has Earth Feder the Earth Feder blah 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 blah. The Earth Federation has been able to get a hold of it and has started establishing a base of their own there. And Lala is effing them up because she's a new type, and no one's really fought a new type. Somehow, luckily, Amuro is also a new type. There's Lala. Looking weird as usual. And Char. Is that Char's Galgoog? I don't remember the name of these mobile suits anymore. So here's the big honcho, the big Zabi, whose name I don't remember. But... What's going on here? Ah! So Giren or Girun or whatever his name is. This is the eldest son, I'm pretty sure. And he is proposing to use a solar beam weapon of some sort. Much not too unlike the uh the what Federation what the Federation used on Solomon. However, this is at a much larger scale, like a bigger stronger beam, concentrated beam or whatever. However, Degin, I think his name is his name. Mr. Big Zabi is is uh kind of getting becoming reminiscent of his eldest son's behavior is beginning to remind him of a middle-aged a man that existed in the middle ages um who went by the name of Adolf Hitler. Basically, the eldest son is trying to propose a totalitarianistic dictatorship. Um, while the in the but the Zabi, Mr. Big Zabi, head Zabi, wants to pretty much end this war. Now, he sees no more point in it. Also, the Earth Federation is making a lot of advances, and he feels that a peace. 
position? For peace is in order. However, the eldest son is like, no, fuck that shit. Um, but... Yeah. This is where the zombie family falls apart. And you start to realize why Garuma was such a charming chap that was favorited among a lot of people. All of the Zabi family seems to be kind of messed up in the head somewhere. And this is Kis Kishiria, Kasilia. Uh, she's actually very heavily invested in the new type um, information. And stuff. Stuff along those lines. I don't know how... I don't remember. It's been too long. Just too long. I'm not even sure what battle's going on now. Ah, ha, ha, oh, yes. So Wing Zero is now going to be Wing Zero Custom. This angelic beast here that you see is what it'll become. Thank you. That's a straight up downgrade. Heavy arms will become an offensive powerhouse. Tall geese can only go back to Tall geese 2, which is not worth it. In my books. So tall geese will become a, a balanced type. Why not? Death scythe will only downgrade to death scythe hell. Not even death scythe hell, just death scythe, huh? Ah, death scythe. You're just gonna become flat out death scythe. Regardless, no. This is a offensive powerhouse as well. Oops. And what can I change Gundam into? Oh my, it's a lot of options. Dre 3 Gundam. Ooh. A gym. A heavy. heavy Gundam. Ooh. Or. something else Gundam. From a level standpoint, is there more? From a level standpoint, this is the upgrade. To Gundam. I don't trust it, though. It's a bit of a downgrade in terms of, uh... It's Arsenal? Eh, let's try it. No, wait, what's this? This looks like it's from the, uh... Uh, what's it called? One of those generic Gundams that were in, uh... 8th Mobile Suit Team, and this is just a flat-out gym. No, no thank you. And I don't know what this is. G3. I don't know where G3 is from. Seems pretty powerful. Probably just a modified version of the current Gundam because everything else is the same. So I'm gonna take a risk here and go for this heavy Gundam. Just because it's an upgraded version. Slightly. Eh, whatever. Let's do it! You are now Heavy Gundam. Now what's in the map? So it looks like I am defending Solomon. I'm 
I'm not sure why he's so buffed up now in terms of his stats, but that's fine with me. Where are these guys? Hopefully it's uh, new recruits at some point, pretty soon. Let's save and keep going. Alright, bring it out. Bring out the big guns. The big guns being Peace Million and the Lunar Space Fortress Libra, I think. Libra. Yep, Libra. And Peace Million. You guys are fucked. All right, Libra will go this way, and Peace Million will go this way. And we will deploy and wait for the enemies to come to us, probably. I'm not sure if there's even a map attack to worry about. I hope not, because uh, that means that'll fuck me up pretty much. Base will be also deploying. So I was wondering. I don't know how long, how much the story continues, or how many like side stories there are to Gundam, but is there? Is there ever a romantic connection between Seira, Seila and um, Amuro? I ask this because um, I'm pretty sure they do, but I don't remember anything necessarily. It's just a little hunch that I have, but it's also more than just a feeling if you know what I'm saying. By the pixies. It's not the Pixies. I forget who sings it. Regardless, it's not... I don't know. Whatever. You're definitely attacking the wrong mobile suit, Mr. Char. The mobile suit you want is over there. And there's a... Uh, Lay Lala. I'll give her a beam. Oof. That's a lot of damage. So Lala is uh, piloting the Eru, Eru Mesu, Eru, 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 Nosu, Pesu, Mesu. I forget what the weird crooked cross is. Um, bum, bum, bum. We'll have uh, Amuro attack Lala. Lala, why are you fighting? Because Char... You will... Char will become injured? What? That's not... That's a, that's impossible. It is from your power or something. If I don't defeat you, Char will die. Your arrival was too late. Too late? Why did you have to um, appear now? That was the whole dialogue. I actually understood it. Hell yeah. Um. Ouch. <laughs> Does Char have a five space attacker thing in my bubby? No, he doesn't. Brother, please step aside. Artesia, Artesia, probably, is what that translates to. And that is Seila's real name. 
Her, or her birth name, I should say. I don't know. I think I am going to do this. I would like to see the move, but uh, yeah, might as well. All right, I was incredibly weak looking. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for the time and care in that move. So technically Shar doesn't run away there because he's not supposed to die, but as I've said before... 2 to 8. God, that's... Those NT NTL moves are so... New type moves are so good. I don't have a new type uh, mobile suit in case you're wondering. Not yet anyway. Not yet. Technically Gundam's supposed to kill you. I don't think that's enough. Yowza's! 6364. <laughs> you have made a mistake, my good sir. Dodge it! Uh... Oh well. That's fine. Alright, Amuro. Go mess her day up. I'm not sure if that's enough damage, but but we'll try it. Why? Why do you fight? Why do you choose to fight in here? You don't even have... You don't have anyone you want to protect or a place to protect. It doesn't matter if I have something to protect. Or no. I don't have anything to protect? I can see it, says Lala. You don't even have a family or something. What does that have to do with anything? So, just because I don't have anything to protect, I can't fight? That is... something. Sounds like destiny to me, but I'm not sure. Then what about you, Lala? I am something... person is, why, is the reason I fight. Just for that. The person that saved me, I think. That is the reason people live. Then what is this something I'm blah blah? Is this, is this also fate, Amuro? Yes. I think so too. I think this is this is fate. Why? Why? Why is this fate? Why is fate so cruel? Something like that. But it's something we cannot deny. Lala, uh, open your eyes? No, it's not it. Is that right? Is this as you say? Is it as you say, Amuro? What? All right. Now I need to go and destroy these motherfuckers. 25k? Is that enough? Goodbye, Mr. Generic looking man that I don't remember from the anime at all. So I want Amuro to attack her one more time in case there is more dialogue, but I can't recall. If there is more dialogue, I mean. 
Really curious on what this move looks like, so I will play it. That's incredibly plain. Huh. Level up two. I might be able to ace him in one, one in one battle, maybe. Let's get you back. God damn it. <laughs> Let's get you back in here so we can get you out as soon as possible. Probably take one turn. But who knows, right? Pick up some other mobile suits. So, essentially what's going on between Lala and Amuro, they're both new types, and they're communicating via their new type abilities, which is also like a psychic ability and new types can communicate to each other and to others without physically talking to them so through their wave brave brain waves and such i don't know if they ever de um, explained that in detail but you know that is exactly what's happening they are speaking to each other during battle and the whole dialogue is basically like if there's a deep so a connection between their spirits or soul or however whatever it is that they're that you want to call it and um lala is um loyal to char however and nothing will change that it's quite touching actually you missed Sh oh. oh well they're done their dialogue is done I'm going to have to destroy you now, Lala. Somehow. Let's see if he, if he can't do it. If he can't do it, nobody can. There you go. So, the actual events is that Char and uh, Gundam Amuro are in the little scuffle. In which... Lala also is fighting. And then... Sela also comes in and fights. Amur uh, Char almost kills Sela, But... Realizes it is Sela. That's not... That's not important. Um, basically what I'm trying to say is Gundam... Was about to kill... Or at least severely damage if not destroy... Uh, Char's... Mobile suit. But Lala steps in the way and saves Char. But that also means the death of her. And that is the tragedy of Lala. And. Hey, it's Cassilia! Get out of here, lady! You don't want none of this. But yeah, that's what that's what's happening right now is essentially that. Ah, can I capture this? I think I can. So who wants to try and destroy it? You're at twenty nine eighty four, huh? I think Epion should be enough to kill you, Cassilia, or at least make you retreat rather. I'll keep using you as well. Man, he is not missing. Cassilia will end up reaching from this battle. Bitch. Goodbye. Okay, so this guy is a new type as well. Um, I believe he was uh, killed in action, however. 
Not that important, though. He was, uh... Yeah, I don't even remember. <laughs> I just remember he was a new type. I guess that's all that's really important, right? Getting kind of confused with my buttons here. Do do. There we go. That's pretty much all the major events that happens on this battlefield. Um, Lala dies. Shar's bitter. Blames Amuro. Amuro. Amuro blames Shar for Lala's death as well. However, because Amuro feels like feels that why did you have to involve Lala in this war? And Shar's position is this war is what spawned the capabil uh the abilities of new types a aka lala so shar sees it in the bigger picture um amuro sees it in the more narrow picture of course um they're both not wrong they're both not right either in the sense that amuro sent you know he essentially built to uh, deliver the killing blow but he didn't have a choice and he wasn't going after her Char isn't wrong either because he wasn't actually. He's actually like you know he actually likes her. I think they were actually in love. Um, hard to remember at this point in my life. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were um at least romantically involved in some way or form. I remember them kissing before this battle. But Char being the conniving guy he can be, I think it might have been a move on his end to make sure she is on his side or something along those lines am i overthinking it maybe i am maybe it was just they were actually in love and i'm just overthinking them being a douchebag about it all douche all offense so as you could see this battle would have been rather difficult if it wasn't for my <laughs> gundams um that's fine, right? Man. Wing Zero custom so good! And I will come up here and do some beam damage to you and also shoot with Troa or Heavy Arms. And that should be enough to kill you. Three, four, it's all 100%. Six. Oh, that was alone. That alone was enough. Jeez. Level up three! I think that is actually the last wave of mobile suits. Mobile suits, mobile suits, mobile suits, mobile suits, mobile suits, mobile suits, mobile suits! Mobile suits. Alright, what I'm gonna do right now is actually just thin these guys out a little bit. Why am I doing that? Because uh, it's a necessary thing to do, my good sirs and ladies, if there are any. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure doing this will kill this guy. And that will yield enough experience for me to kill off the battleship with this combination to uh, ace my mobile suit. Yep, you're gonna be involved in this attack, my good sir. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that enough? Yep, it is. Ace? Yeah! Right away! One battle. One battle to Ace it. And that is all she wrote. So this battle obviously misconstru misconstrues the original battle. The original battle was actually quite bloody. And a lot of uh, emotions were running. Because A, Amuro kills Lala, 
Char is upset. Amuro is also upset. You know, all that stuff. Ooh, save you. Everything else, be gone. Oh, it's gonna take a while. 